Hi, and welcome to section three of reactive programming with Python. In this section, we're going to look at reactive GUIs and data flows with Qt and RxPy. In this video, we take a look at how to create a Hello World GUI with a simple reactive button. Let's get started. So let's begin by opening up the file, and it's section301.py for video one of section three, and we're going to be creating a new Hello World Q widget. This widget is actually going to be representing the window that will contain the button that will be pressed by the user and we will be recording the clicks every time the button has been pressed. So we create the constructor here and we use Q widget and again we just pass in these values and then we set up the window, we resize it, and we move it to roughly the center of the screen. And then we set the window title to hello world. We're going to add the button and it's a Q push button labeled hello. And we're going to connect the clicked signal to a callback called button clicked. And we're going to keep track of the number of times the button has been clicked. And now let's define the callback button clicked self. So we do self underscore times clicked plus equals one. So every time there's a click, we increase the number of clicks. So we check if the program is main and we initialize the Qt application using Q application, passing in the command line arguments. And then we create our window, hello world. And we say hello underscore world dot show to actually display the window. And then we exit with whatever exit code will be returned after the Qt application has exited, which we execute by doing app dot exec. So now we can go to the command. We have to actually do a bunch of imports first. We do import sys and from pi qt5 dot qt widgets, we import q application, q widget and q push button. We also need to set up the event tracking the reactive event tracking, but we will do that after we make sure the program works. So we do section 301.py, we run it, and we can see the button works, and anytime you press hello, the number of clicks will increase. So we want to actually display that somewhere. So as I mentioned, we're going to create an event reactive stream here, and it will be called events, and it is a subject. So from rx.subjects, we import subject, and a subject is similar to an observable. It can actually have multiple observers. And anytime we're clicking, we say self.events.onNext. And we're going to pass in quite a bit of data just so you can see what kind of values you can pass into a subject or an observable. And the source will be a source of the click will be hello world. The data will be clicked and the count will be self dot underscore times clicked. So now that we have an event stream, we can actually subscribe to it and display a message. So we do hello underscore world dot events dot subscribe lambda x hello world dot set window title. And we say times clicked and we say x is the value and we say count. So when we execute this, what we expect to happen is that the value will show up anytime we click. So we do hello, click, you can press spacebar to click as well. So anytime the button is clicked, it'll update. We close it and we're going to do something more interesting based on the filtering and mapping that we have done in the previous section. So we're going to buffer with time. Every 500 milliseconds, we're going to buffer the values. So you will see the source, hello world, data clicked show up multiple times. And we're going to make sure that the buffer is not empty. And then we're going to map value to get the latest, the last item, which is the latest item. And then we're going to leave the subscribe as is just fix the indentation. So every 500 milliseconds, we'll get some events. Anytime the user has clicked multiple times, instead of trying to actually set the window title every single time they click, we wait for a few clicks and then we set the window title. So if you click five times within 500 milliseconds, 
we only call set window title once. So it's a way of throttling and it's a way of debouncing. So let's try that again. And we can see we click and then if we click multiple times, there's a bit of a delay, a very slight delay. If you click multiple times like this, the callback is called, but the actual action is not executed until the event buffer time passes, right? So every 500 milliseconds, it'll actually update. So you can see there's a little bit of a delay, but it prevents us from calling set window title multiple times.